Welcome back to another Python tutorial. And today we're going to be asking the user to enter a number of quarters, dimes, nickels, and pennies. And we're going to calculate that number into a dollar amount. So first we're going to need some variables. We can say QT, QTR, which stands for quarter. And we can set that equal to int input. So we're just asking the user to enter the number of quarters they have. And that's going to be stored into a quarter variable. And then we could pretty much do the same thing for all the coins we have. We can do quarter. You can do it four times because we have four coins. We have dime, nickel, and then penny. So we're just getting user input for all of those. And now we need another variable to store like however, much, however many dollars we have. So we could say dollars equals, and then we're going to have the, uh, the, like, the actual variable name, which in this case would be a coin. So we could say QTR. To however much it's worth. So a quarter is worth 0 0.25 because our quarter is worth 25 cents. And then we can add that to, to dime, which is worth 0 0.10 10 cents. Add that to, oops, to nickel, which is worth 0 0.05, which is a nickel, 5 cents. And then we add that to penny, to 0 0.01. And then now we can just print it out. But before we print it, we want to format it because we want like, so we have a big number like this. We want only the last two numbers of the decimal point to be like printed out. So we can actually print that. We can say print. And inside the print statement, we want to say amount. And then we'll have a little space for it. And in there we could use dot to f to format it. So we could have something like this and then you say dot two f so this will format it so it's only like the last two numbers after the decimal to be like actually printed and then we want to tell it what we want to format in this case we want to tell the computer to format dollars so just in case there's like any big decimal point like this we only want the last two digits because like in, in the united states there's nothing smaller than a cent so that's all we want and then we're pretty much done. Let's run this, see what we get. So let's do two quarters, 50 cents, two dimes, we're at 70 cents, two nickels, which would be 80 cents, and then two pennies, which would be 82 cents. Uh, so the program right now is good. I just want to prompt the user so they know what to enter. We could say, enter the number of quarters. The program by itself, it was pretty much done. But we could just make it a little better. So enter number of dimes. Same thing for nickels. And then pennies. And now if we run this one more time, oh I actually ask them like enter like the whatever like whatever like um whatever coin we want. So we want to do quarters, two quarters. Two dimes, two nickels, and then two pennies, and their amount is 82 cents. And here's the actual code. If this helped you in any way, just leave a like and subscribe.